Who are you and where are you from? Um, my name is Tristan Miller and I'm from Minnesota originally, but I lived in New York for the last 10 years of my life. So at this point, I call myself a New Yorker, baby. Um, what do you do? Um, I do a lot of stuff. I am an actor, comedian, writer, podcaster, and uh, recently filmmaker. I generally just go with entertainer because it's the easiest. It's one word. So yeah. I do a fair bit of everything, though. If you could describe your event to someone who was just kind of walking in, didn't know what mm-hmm. they were coming into, um, you know, someone's just kind of pulled them in and they don't, they have no idea. How would you describe it? I would say it's an hour of stand-up comedy about mental health. Um, mm-hmm. And if that's not your bag or you're kind of easily upset by that topic, maybe you should go see another show. Uh, I kind of get into it. Um, but it's, uh, I, I swear to God, it's funny. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Why do you art? Why do I art? Um, yeah. I love attention. No, um, growing up, I was the the youngest of three and the only boy. And so I need a certain amount of attention for, you know, always and ever. Um, and I need, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm the exception to every rule, clearly. But I was actually talking about this with somebody else recently. And I do think it's like something innate to want to create stuff. Um, you know, there's that uh, bit in the Bible. I don't know if you've heard of that. Um, where like they, they say that humanity is created in God's image and everyone's like, oh, they, you know, that's why God is an old man in the sky. It's like, no, it's a, the desire to create is what I think that means. And so I think there's something kind of ineffable and spiritual about wanting to make something. And, you know, some people don't want to make art. They want to make you know, a family or, you know, a decent living. Um, Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, that's where I think it kind of comes from for me of like, there's this sort of drive that is kind of inexplainable. What does the Dunedin French Festival mean to you? It means that I get to do the show some more. No, um, (laughs) I'm excited um, specifically about doing Dunedin because I was made aware that it's a college town a bit. Mm -hmm. And I think that young people specifically, they respond, number one, they respond well to my comedy. And number two, want to encourage the conversation surrounding mental health, um, maybe more than some other generations. I don't want to point fingers or anything, (laughs) but I think, you know, we know who I'm talking about. Um, uh, The greatest generation. No, um, so... (laughs) Uh, so I think that's very exciting. And it's also one of those things of like, you know, I'm doing the New Zealand Fringe Festival or Wellington Fringe Festival now. I'm in the middle of my run. It, it's been really lovely. And I'm very excited to see as well, like what diff- how different parts of the country respond to it. Because yeah. um, I did it down in Christchurch and the response was different than what I've been doing here. And so like, and I think that's a, it's a really kind of fun way to get a, a way to experience a country, you know. You get to meet all sorts of people that come up after the show and that sort of stuff, you know. It's been really rewarding, and that's been the case for a while, that people come up after the show and they go, hey, thanks very much, I just got diagnosed, or whatever it is, you know. Yeah, for sure.